Hi Taurus and welcome to your Love Tarot Forecast. This is for July 16th through July 31st, 2019. I'm going to start by pulling a few cards for overall energy. Taurus, for all you singles, dating, or committed Taurus out there. So let's see what's coming through. Okay, so we have Blinded. We have a soulmate and we have a courtship. Okay, so Taurus, I'm going to read this a few different ways for you guys um, as an overall message and then break it down into, um, you know, singles, dating, and then committed. So basically what I see going on here, Taurus, is the overall story with these three cards is kind of a situation or a relationship where, you know, one person was very attracted to the other. And it's not to say the other person involved wasn't attracted, but I don't feel like they were as much in, okay? So it's like one person is like, you are everything I want in this world and the other person is like yeah I'm feeling you but it isn't in that same vibration fully okay because we have blinded and then soulmate here however it transitions into courtship okay so whether you're just kind of dating somebody or you are committed to them the theme here is where one of you was like definitely more in and now the other one is finally like getting to that same place emotionally, vibrationally, like there's a an alignment taking place, Taurus. So some of you who are just dating somebody, this is like where you guys might finally get committed, okay? Or if you've been dating for a while, you might decide to move in with each other or go to the next level. Those of you who are already committed, I just see where both parties are equally loving, equally wanting, equally being present with each other over these next two weeks, okay? So now to break this down a little bit different, um, the primary card for completely singles out there is blinded. And what that tells me, singles, is there's somebody around you who um, is just all about you that you're not seeing or there is somebody in your life that you're all about that you feel is not seeing you, okay? So this right here is, you know, like where one person is like, oh my God, I would do anything to be with you and the other person is just completely oblivious to it, okay? And that could go either way since this is a general reading. Now, those of you who are dating without a commitment with soulmate there, I kind of see that alignment and union um, coming into place over these next two weeks where you and another person are recognizing um, you know the soul of each other through each other's eyes like that total alignment of love and union and then those of you who are committed yeah I see like sweetness and new sparks of energy and maybe you guys are going on dates or one of you is really trying to put in the effort to the relationship um it's just had like this awakening all right this is kind of magical energy going on here taurus so let's pull some dice Oh, okay. Well, that one jumped right out of the bag on the Three of Pentacles. So that is definitely a coming together of energies, a collaboration, teamwork, being on the same page with each other, reaching for the same goal or purpose, okay? So let's see what else is coming out. All right. Now we have beautiful, the Six of Pentacles. Look at that. We transition from the three to the six. This is giving, sharing, and receiving. Oh my gosh, Taurus, this is the best reading. Next out is the King of Pentacles. That's your energy, you feeling on top of the world, you feeling happy, you feeling content, or the other person involved in this situation really stepping up and giving it their all, okay? Because the last dice is the two of cups that's love that's union that's happiness Taurus okay so singles there's somebody around you that um, really is all about you okay like really all about you and you're just not seeing it so open up your radar to see who that is or if this is where you are really about somebody and you've never shared it 
you might want to subtly put it out there, okay? Because I don't think that they've picked up on it with this card here, and I just see it turning out very lovely, Taurus, okay? Those of you that are just kind of dating somebody or seeing somebody, no real commitment, I see you guys growing ever closer over these next two weeks. Just a beautiful exchange of energy in this reading, like equality, both feeling the same, both wanting the same, both giving equal energy. And that goes for those of you in these commitments. It's almost like going to the next level. Um, you know, let's move in. Let's get committed for this card here. Those of you who are committed, it's like falling in love deeper or somebody like really just stepping it up and getting on board. A lot of equality, nobody carrying more of the weight, putting more energy and effort into the relationship. Oh no, it's equal. Okay. And that leaves you feeling very happy, Taurus, very secure. Lots of love these next two weeks for those of you who are currently involved with somebody with no commitment or those of you who are committed. It's just like a Man, total alignment for you guys. Those of you single, there's, again, somebody that is loving on you, sweet on you, Taurus, that you just might not be noticing or aware of just yet, okay? So let's pull some more cards. All right, we have case of the X, not over the past, all right? So <laughs> that right there lets some of you know who this person is. Maybe you thought your ex did not want you, did not notice you, has been playing it off. Um, no, okay? Or, Taurus, this could be you where it's your ex and you're like, damn, I want that again. What do I got to do to get back to that, okay? So some of you, it's definitely about an ex. Those of you that um, are in this dating category, um, no commitment. This could be an ex person coming back into your reality, absolutely ready to step it up this time around, Taurus, and say, and put the, like, give their whole heart into this, okay? Or that could be you trying to, you know, really get back to this ex and say, I will do whatever it takes. So, um, those of you completely single or kind of just dating around, there could be an ex coming back into your reality. But if it is, like, they're totally, like, on board this time, 100%. Next out is disconnection, not meant to be right now. All right. Yeah, I do see some reconciliations coming through with these cards, okay? Because this is the primary energy. This is just giving me some information about the individuals in this reading. And based on this <coughs> reading, um, whether you're single, dating, or, well, this does, that's not really for committed, I don't think, no, because this is about the ex. Um, you know what, those of you who are committed, what this could be, is if there's been like some interference with an ex in your relationship, to me, these last two weeks of July, like that is completely dissolving out. Whether that was on your side, Taurus, or on the side of your partner, if there was any sort of ex interference, it's like that's gone. It's over. It's it's disconnected and your partner has chosen you 100% or you have finally decided to let all of your past go and choose the person you're with now 100%. And that's not to say that you guys weren't choosing each other, but this is like kind of a different feeling where if somebody was kind of missing an ex, even though they were in a relationship with somebody else, they've made the decision that the ex is not for them and where they're at right now is where they belong. Okay, so um, those of you in committed relationships, that's the only scenario I really see this ex energy playing out. Okay, <clears throat> for the rest of you, um, especially those singles, I do feel like there's an ex still looming around that wants to come back in and really um, make things right, do the right thing this time around, Taurus. Um, 
anybody, if you guys, those of you who are single, you meet somebody new um, over this next two weeks, I feel like it's an instantaneous connection. And then again, there may be some people that are exes that um, are just all about you that you're not noticing. And um, those of you kind of already involved with somebody, I do feel like you guys are going to the next level, like you're going much deeper. And if there was any sort of ex interference um, on either side, like that's also dissipating. Okay, so let's um, pull some more cards. All right. Yay, you guys got the six of roses. Giving, sharing, <clears throat> giving, receiving, sharing. This is the six of pentacles. So you got that twice. That tells me that the two energies coming through in this reading, Taurus, both equally love each other, both equally want to be with each other, okay? Next out is journey's end, acceptance, breakup, transformation. This coming out um, in this reading, this to me, those of you who are kind of dating somebody or you're committed and there's been this past ex interference, it's done. It's over with. That relationship is finite and your partner wants you and not the ex or you want your partner and no longer the ex, okay? Um, some of you who are like single, this to me journey's end is like your singlehood journey is about to end. You're about to be committed or those of you who are kind of dating or seeing somebody, same thing. It's just like you guys are going to the next level. All right, five of thoughts, argument, defeat, manipulation, and lastly, consciousness, kaleidoscope, perception, thoughts. Okay, um, yeah, this right here, the five of thoughts with consciousness is telling me that somebody in this connection has really had a huge shift in perception. Okay, um, argument, defeat, manipulation, where they were you know, trying to manipulate the situation a little bit, especially if there was an ex involved. It's like they don't desire that anymore. It's like that's not part of, um, they just, they don't want it. It's like a whole change of mind where it's like I now see life from a different perspective. I see my Taurus as everything they are, my one and only, or Taurus, this could be you. If you were kind of hung up on an ex, but you're dating somebody or you're committed to somebody um, and now you're looking at them and you're like, you're the best thing that ever happened to me and my past does not matter. It doesn't exist anymore. You are all that I want. You are all that I need. X is coming back in for those of you single. It's like um, they've had that huge shift in perception as well. And it's like, you are all I want. You are all I need. You're everything to me. I want to make this work, okay? Um, also, again, those of you where there's somebody around you and um, you're not aware of their affection for you or they're not aware of your affection for them, I just swear, like, once it's out there, it's equal. Like, you both equally like each other but may be blinded to the fact that the other one is interested, okay? So single Taurus, um, you could definitely have an ex coming back or, you know, who's really just, like, still all about you. And there could also be somebody else in your reality that's all about you, okay? Um, it's just with that blinded card, I see it the strongest. Those of you who are kind of just dating somebody, no real commitment in place, I see you guys growing closer and all of that changing over this um, next two weeks, like maybe getting committed, moving in together, whatever the next step would be for your relationship. It's like you guys are really falling um, in love, okay? Or Taurus, those of you that are kind of just dating somebody, maybe you're not really in, interested too much in them and you have an ex coming back in with that scenario that I've talked about, okay? That could also apply. Those of you committed, I'm telling you, um, your ex issues are a thing of the past and you both are choosing each other equally. Um, in the, even if an ex wasn't an issue, it's like whatever was in, wrong in the past is no longer an issue now because somebody has really shifted consciousness and it's an equal exchange of love and energy in committed relationships for Taurus over these next two weeks, okay? So Taurus, fabulous love reading for you guys. I like to see it. And um, those are all of your messages. I am wishing you the very best, Taurus. Take care.